So welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 14 Arsenal career mode. Today we have the end of the transfer window. We've also got games against Liverpool and Crystal Palace, so that's going to be a tough one. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe as well. It's completely free and you get tons of value, so please do so. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some FIFA coins, check out Mule Factory. The link will be in the description. If you use my code VAPEXFOOT, you also get 5% off. But yeah, we have the transfer window to deal with. And we do have offers for Fabianski. There's also something for Gibbs. Now, Fabianski is not really worth much, so I guess we can stall that. See what happens. If we need the extra cash, we can get rid of him. Kieran Gibbs, not really looking to sell him at the moment. It's between Monreal and Gibbs. But I guess we can stall it just in case we might need a bit of money. You never know. So we've got Chu Young Park who says, I was expecting a bigger role at the club. So far, I've not been given the chance to perform. Don't really know what I'm going to do with Park, to be honest. All right, so we've reached deadline day. And let's see if we get anything here. So Aston Villa says Benteke's offer is unacceptable. They won 16.5. Now, Hulk has actually accepted. That's interesting. And Ron Vla uh, won't be coming because he's too valuable. Everyone's got a price, mate. So let's see if we can do a 1.5. They might take that. Now, I wouldn't mind signing Benteke because he's performed so well against us. We'll try 15-3. See what they say. It's either going to be Suarez, Benteke... Or whatever else. So Suarez, they want 35 million. We could make that happen. We've only got about 31.3. We could try that. I don't know if that's going to work. We might have to sell someone. Now I'm going to put a price tag of 2.3 million for Fabianski. If that goes through, then we could have about 35 million to buy Suarez. And I think I would prefer Suarez over Benteke. Remember when Arsenal actually bidded for Suarez? I think they pulled 40 million plus a dollar or something. So maybe we can repeat that. And see if Suarez wants to join Arsenal. So Norwich pulls out of the Fabianski deal. They don't want him. I mean, you can't give me a 50% discount and then expect me to say yes. So here we go. Aston Villa rejects again. Luis Suarez, they want 35. And 16.5 million for Benteke. We'll give him 16.5. See what they say. Now, I don't know if we have enough time for this Suarez deal. But we can do 31.3 plus a player. We might throw in Rio Miachi to this deal. I haven't really used the guy. He's worth about 2 million. They might take it. They might leave it. I don't think this is a deal that will go through because we've only got 10 hours left and uh, that's probably not enough time. Eight hours left, actually. That's not enough time. But the Benteke deal could happen. Wow, Liverpool have actually accepted that. Wow. And Benteke as well has accepted 16.5. We've got a transfer offer here for Rio Miachi. Of course, the moment I uh, put him in, Bayern Munich wants to loan him out. We've got an offer for Gibbs. I don't really want to sell Gibbs. I guess the Suarez signing would be a big one. Over Benteke, and I think Suarez would be good up front. Yes, we've got Henri and all that kind of stuff, but we need that prolific striker that's going to score, and he's going to be quick and all that. I think Suarez could be the guy. It's tough to decide because I know that Benteke is more of a physical guy, but Suarez is better technically, and of course he's got a bit of pace to him as well. It's hard, man. I don't really know what to do at the moment. We've got no choice but to just offer contracts to both players. You never know, Suarez might reject us. We'll give him a 20% bonus, give him 160k. See what he says. Benteke, he wants a four-year deal. We'll give him 90k for four years. Crucial first-team player, 20% bonus. I'm sure Benteke would be happy to come. Oh, I just don't know, man. Do I want Suarez or Benteke? I know both would be good, but I'm leaning towards Suarez more based on his stats. But then I think of Benteke and his performances against us, and he's an absolute unit. Both players have accepted here. It's just a matter of which one do I want. I think I'm going to take the Suarez deal. Yes, we lose Miyachi, but I'm not really using him anyway. I have to go for it. 86 rated striker up front. Technically, he's going to be great. I just hope that I don't regret this because Benteke has accepted as well. We don't have the cash for both of them. That's the problem. And I don't really want to sell players. We, we don't need any more strikers after this. So I'll take the Suarez deal. On paper, he looks like the better player. I just don't know how he's going to perform on the field. But we've got the new signing arriving with five hours left. Suarez signs for Arsenal. That is the biggest signing of the transfer window. You never know what you're going to get from me on transfer deadline day. We always pull something out of the bag. And I don't have any more cash. I've broken the bank. That's it. We're bankrupt now. We've got a late offer for Thomas Vermaelen. Not really looking to sell him. Maybe I could have bought another left back or right back. But I don't know. I always like buying players up front. We did lose a lot of players this window. But the job has been done. And now... That's it, everyone's stuck with the same teams trying to push for that Premier League top spot. So we actually got offered a role at Manchester City, unbelievable here. So the manager job here for Manchester City, 30 grand a week. So instead of actually looking for jobs, you get the offers for you, that's pretty cool. Does FIFA 21 do this? I can't even remember. But I'm not going to Man City, I'm going to stay at Arsenal. And it's amazing how we're playing Liverpool next, who are in second spot. They've just lost Suarez, 
And we've got Suarez now. So what are they doing, mate? What are they doing? There we go. Number 10, Luis Suarez. Henri is going to get a bit of a break now. We, we're always relying on Henri. That's the problem. So it's funny because now we're playing against Liverpool and they just lost Suarez. So hopefully they've got a crap striker up front now. And we're going to play with the yellow kit, Liverpool with the red. We need to win this one. They're coming in at second spot, Liverpool. So here we go. Some Premier League action. Liverpool versus Arsenal. Always a massive game. And it's going to be even more massive today because Suarez makes his debut for Arsenal. It could have been Benteke. It could have been Suarez. We chose Suarez. And let's see how he goes today. I'll be very happy if he scores because we need to win this game. Liverpool are above us, which means we've got to take points off him. Otherwise, forget it. So Monreal bringing it forward. He's going to play through the gap to Walcott. We're going to lay it off to Suarez. Beats one. Luis Suarez already with the left foot. And that's a great start to his Arsenal career. Ramirez comes again. Got to watch it here. They're going to play through the gaps. David Luiz cuts it out. Come on, son. Ox. Of course, we can't get there. Ramirez. Ball over the top. Nice pass in. Oh, we've got to be careful. And it falls back to them again. And we just escaped that. Here's Aaron Ramsey here. We're going to play through the gap here. And we've got Suarez in the middle. We can find him. We're going to play through to Suarez, who's going to score, and he's Liverpool. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, my goodness. Oh, now I regret that signing. Where's Venteke? <laughs> Can I get a refund on my purchase? How did we miss that? How does an 86 overall player miss that? I want a refund. I'm not happy. We should be 1-0 up, and now it's like Liverpool could be 1-0 up. Oh, it's a penalty. What the hell? Oh, man. Here's Gerrard now. Could be 1-0 for Liverpool after we should have scored this game, man. I tell you. Just gets the blood pressure going. Gerard, it's going to go right. No, he goes straight down the middle. And somehow Liverpool are 1-0 ahead. We should be 1-0 ahead. So at the moment, I definitely want a refund on Suarez. Sterling plays a through to Sturridge. Sterling, tricky feet. Somehow he's dribbling like Ronaldinho. And what are we going to do? Oh, my goodness. He's just, he's just made us look like amateur league. Can't believe what I'm seeing. Sterling, they had four players onto him. And I don't know what kind of defending I was doing there, but that was absolutely terrible. Ramsey played into Suarez. He's going to play it through. Nice pass. Theo Walcott has a hit. Oh, good save by Mignolet. Walcott's been the danger man, but he hasn't scored. Let's see if we can get a header here. David Luiz wins the header. Oh, just heads it over the bar. David Luiz cuts it out. One more chance before halftime. Not with that kind of passing. Just a terrible performance by Arsenal. Ramirez cuts it out. Oh, of course he blows the whistle when I'm about to score. But anyway, very disappointing and frustrating half. Luis Suarez should have scored. And of course he hits the post. I don't know how he missed. That's a miss of the season so far. That's a nice through ball. Sturridge. Oh, you just can't beat him. You can't beat him. I don't understand, man. I don't understand what EA's done to Liverpool. Just frustrating, man. 3-0 down now. No chance of a comeback. They've just been all over us, man. It feels like the Aston Villa game all over again. Suarez. Got to play through to Walcott. He's the only danger, man, because he's got all the pace and Lucas Lever can't keep up. Walcott. Oh, how? How do you miss? Are you serious? So rigged, man. I bet you if that was like Sterling or something, he would have scored. All right, so we're going to play a 4-2-2-2. Henri with Suarez, Ox and Walcott, Ramsey, Ramirez in the middle. There's not much time left. There's half an hour. Yes, in theory, you can score three goals, but not on this difficulty. Very, very hard. You'd need like a Liverpool collapse. We've got that one. Uh, Johnson. They're just unbeatable. I know they had a good team back then, but this difficulty, man, it's killing me. Another goal here. Oh, my goodness. Does the keeper save anything, literally? I don't understand how players like Lucas Lever are better than Ramirez and stuff. Nice ball in. Oh, yes, we found Suarez, who can score, and he scores. But it's about 88 minutes too late. He scores on debut. Should have had two today. I don't know why he's celebrating, but it's just the story of my season, mate. The story of the season so far. It's just not enough time. Liverpool, very, very quick players today. Agile players. Our players, they're slow, lethargic. Of course, the usual stuff. But I can't help but think if Suarez scored in the first couple of minutes, then uh, it, it could have been a totally different game. I'm sure Suarez is disappointed. I'm sure Miachi is very happy that he moved to Liverpool. We absolutely got pumped today. 
They had four shots on target. They scored all four. We had three and didn't. Take a look at this match highlight here. I thought this chance was a bit earlier, but it's actually in the 14th minute. How does a guy miss this? Seriously. How? I can't believe what I've seen. It's the miss of the year. A guy with an 86 overall. Anyway, we keep on going down, 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 and down. After 24 games, we've got 44 points. Liverpool 52, they're leading the way. It would have been nice to beat them. We've still got a game in hand, which means it's very, very close at the top still. So we've got Crystal Palace up next, and that's going to be another tough one because this is a team that always just plays so good against you. So here we go, a rainy day at the Emirates. Arsenal versus Crystal Palace. Suarez makes his debut in front of the home fans. That's the story so far. We're in fifth spot. We need to win. The top five is very, very close. Anyone can win the title still. But I don't know, man. If we keep playing the way we've played the last two games, then we're not going to even come six. Nice work by Ramirez. We've got Podolski here. He's going to hold it up. Play it across to Suarez. And they block it. Suarez picks it up again. And instead of shooting, he takes a touch. And he's done well there, Theo Walcott. Oh, no, he's lost it again. I'm going to play back to Walcott. He's throwing goal here. Don't stuff this up, please. And it's going to go in. Yes. Oh, yes. I don't think he's offside. And I think that's a goal for Ramirez, the first goal for the club. Well, I think Walcott actually was going to hit it out. I think he missed that shot. Luckily, Ramirez was there to tap it in. That shot was more like a pass. But Walcott, yeah, that was going out. Ball over the top. That's a beautiful pass. Keepers come out. What are you doing? Oh, good save by Chesney. Got to clear it here. Got to clear it. Big header. Good save again. Koscielny, what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Embarrassing. Oh, no. We fouled the guy. It's a penalty. Embarrassing stuff. Sunday League defense once again. It's a comedy show at the back, mate. I've got to stop throwing it out with the keeper. Just kick it long even if we don't keep possession. It's mistakes like this that add up and cost you throughout a season. Shamak, can he score? I think he played for Arsenal, didn't he, this guy? Uh, of course, straight. I'm just going to keep the, the keeper at the, at the middle because they always hit it down the middle. Ball over the top to Ramirez. Nice pass. We're going to play it over the top to Podolski. He's going to cut it back inside. Early cross to Walcott. Nice volley, but not enough there. Santa Gazola. Sanya. Where are we going to go? Here we go. Sanya down the right. Actually, no, that's Santa Gazola. Going to cross it in. Podolski with the header. Oh, what a save. Can we get the rebound, Ramsey? No. Falls to Suarez on the edge of the box. Beats one. Goes for it again, Suarez. Oh, come on, man. Of course, Spironi's playing like prime Buffon today. See what we can do here. We've got Louise. They've got a couple guys there. And, of course, we headed over the bar. Can we score a header, please? Here's Ramirez. Podolski. He's going to turn and hit it. Podolski, what a save. Ramirez again. Oh, my goodness. The keeper with the double. This game is rigged, mate. I'm telling you. It's got to be rigged. Santi Gazzola. Ramirez. Where are we going to go? Chip it across. Looking for Suarez. Can't win the header. Ramsey has a hit. And a good save again. Spironi. Can you believe double saves from Spironi? Tell you what, when the game doesn't want you to score, there's no way you're scoring. It's unbelievable. Look at this. Look at this dribbling. Here we go. He's played it to Suarez. We could actually have an attack here. He's got enough pace to get by. Delaney can't keep up. Luis Suarez. Yes, what a finish by Suarez. Who needs a weak foot? And that's why I bought him. Well, Suarez scores in front of the Emirates. The fans look happy. And he had enough pace to get past Delaney there. I thought he was going to stuff it up. Nice finish there with the outside of the foot. Punch on. Nice work by David Luiz here. Podolski played up to Suarez. We've got him. Looking for that support run. He's going to go for the finesse. Suarez, oh my goodness, off the top of the bar. And Walcott's got it. Don't let it run out, jeez. Back in the middle. Ramirez. Ramsey has a hit, and it's going to be a corner. Where's the handball here? I've got the setting on. The refs never call handballs. Santi, oh my goodness, that last pass. Suarez, through to Walcott. Back to Suarez. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go, mate? Ramirez lays it off to Ramsey. Santi Gazzola goes for the finesse, and it's easy for Spironi. Hopefully we've done enough here. We've reached the 90th minute. Of course, that doesn't mean anything in this game. I just need to hold out. Just need to hold out one more attack. And there we go. We've held on. 
and the goal from Suarez is the difference today. Big victory against Crystal Palace. We needed that bounce back, and that's a massive three points as well. So we had 12 shots on target that game. Somehow it's only 2-1. You tell me, man. Spironi, I tell you. So let's take a look at the table here. Arsenal move into fourth spot. Of course, Chelsea have the game in hand. We're on 47 points. Spurs, 55 points. So they're way in front still. The good news is that Suarez did score two goals this episode, which is always nice to see. But Man United strikers are leading the way up front there with Eto in between. In the next episode, we play against Southampton. And then we have Champions League action against Atletico Madrid. That all returns now. So that's going to be fun there. We tr could try and win the Champions League. Who knows? But anyway, we're going to end it there. If you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe as well for more FIFA 14 action. And please check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you straight there. I'll see you next time.